into the city of Jerusalem was the beginning of that week. His triumphant resurrection. And let me clearly state that I believe in the resurrection. Amen. I'm going to preach the Lord willing as he carries next Sunday morning, Resurrection Sunday. Mm. His triumphant resurrection from the tomb brought it to a grand conclusion. The triumphal entry of Jesus was not much of a triumph if it is compared to the triumphal entry of a Roman king or some victorious general. When a Roman king made a triumphal procession into a city, he would be preceded by the Senate. Mm -hmm. And then following that body, the, he would, there would be trumpeters. There would be flute players. The captains from their last war would be there. The spoils of war. Even oxen for sacrifice would precede the king. Yes. The captains of the war, particularly any king or chieftain, leader, would be chained and would be driven before him. Last in the procession would be the king, attired in purple and gold of his majesty, with a scepter of his kingdom in his hand. In vivid contrast, to this is the royal entry of the King of Kings into the holy city of Jerusalem while earthly kings rode on war horses. Our Lord rode on a foal of a donkey. Mm -hmm. 